All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the two most influential hip hop artists that really got me into the genre, and that's gonna be Hobson and Logic. So let's get into it. All right, now for many years, and I'm talking basically my entire life up until I was around like 18 or 19, I really didn't like the genre of hip hop. I just, it didn't really appeal to me. I was actually a pretty big metalhead more than anything. But then my friend actually showed me a music video of uh, Hop is Back, which you guys may know from Hobson. But first, I'm gonna go into a little bit of a backstory about Hobson. Now, Hobson has gone through a really rough time the past couple of years between him having a baby that he could not see and being completely banned from Australia. In fact, many songs, including his much awaited Ill Mind Hobson 9, actually talk about a lot of what he went through that year. And then a lot later in 2019, he actually posted a song called I Don't Want It. Now that song was actually going through all of the stuff that he's been through in the past couple of years and his eventual break from making music. Now no, it was not his retirement, but he did say that he was not going to be putting out any new music until he felt like he was ready after doing a lot of soul searching and just learning more about himself. And now back to the current year of 2020, he actually released a video on his YouTube channel called I'm Good. Now that YouTube channel is primarily where he posts all of his music videos, so that's what I thought this video was going to be about, was another music video, but it actually wasn't anything to do about music. Now before this video, he even put out a couple of singles and a couple of features on his Spotify. Now those might have just been some leftover songs that he already did in the past, and now he just wanted to put them out while he was in the middle of this break, but it didn't really seem like he was ready to be back in the music scene quite yet. And now that he's released that small documentary, I think that he's finally ready to get back into making music again. Yeah, I, I told everybody I wasn't going to put any more music out until I felt like doing that, until I found myself. And I have a lot of work to do, but I feel a lot better. And I can honestly say that that dark cloud that I felt over me is gone. And I also don't want to pretend like I've reached my ultimate level of happiness because this is definitely a process. If you guys want to see that full video, it'll be linked down below and it's only around five minutes and 19 seconds long. So I really do recommend watching that. So in the video, he explains that he actually moved to Thailand. He just dropped everything and moved out there. He talked about some really awesome points that I think that everybody making music or just trying to live their life in general and become a better person can really learn from. So Hobson is pretty well known in the underground hip hop business as well as a little bit more mainstream now as well. And the past few years, he talks about how he's gone through the really bad depression phase. So it just goes to show that even if you have everything that you thought that you wanted, you know, you're you're making a name of yourself, you've gotten into the career that you wanted to, it doesn't necessarily mean that things aren't gonna happen to you in your life. Now, I really dedicate my entire life, especially everything I do on YouTube, to Hobson because he's the whole reason why I started making beats on FL Studio. As well as I wouldn't have even gotten into the genre if it wasn't for this man. He goes on to talk about how that dark cloud that's over him is no longer there, but at the same time, he doesn't feel like he's reached the pinnacle of his happiness. About how this is a major process and that it's not just gonna happen overnight, and I think that's just one really amazing way to put it about how he wanted a million dollars and then five million dollars and then ten and then keep on going to a billion but but is that really the right way to live is there no point where you can say i'm good no point to where you can be complacent and yes complacency can really ruin a whole lot of creativity but I don't think that's necessarily the case here. I think that because he's a more happy person now and he's working on himself, I think that that's gonna make his music a lot better and I think it's gonna make him a lot more happy to create this music. And speaking of music, he does end off that video saying that, yeah, he does have a whole other album coming up soon. Well, Hobson, do you got a new album dropping soon? Come here. Of course I've got a new album dropping, bitch. and this video was actually put out five months ago, so I'm hoping it's sometime this year. I'm hoping. But he does have a couple of singles out to hold you guys over until then. He's got COVID Mansion and Kumbaya, the most recent one. All right, now Hobson was just my introduction to hip hop, all right? But the guy that got me hooked on the genre and really showed me that not everyone is the same is going to be Logic. Now I'm sure that nobody here really needs an introduction for Logic. But for the past year, he's really gone radio silence as far as social media goes, and we haven't really heard anything from the guy except for a couple of breaks in between here and there. But the bittersweet news is that he just announced his retirement with his new album, No Pressure. Now Logic's first break of radio silence is going to be on his Instagram where he posts the cover art of No Pressure with the caption, officially announcing my retirement with the release of No Pressure. Executive produced by No ID, July 24th. It's been a great decade. Now it's time to be a great father. And on July 17th, 2020, he posts pictures of his baby and his new wife with the caption, privacy with family is something that's very important to me. However, my fans have been my family since this all started. So I wanted to share with you a glimpse into my life. I would like you to meet LB, as we call him, Little Bobby. And my beautiful wife, Brittany, who is an incredible mother. These two make me the happiest man in the world and it's a happiness like no other. I know the news of retirement may be bittersweet when understanding the motives behind it. But worry not, dear listener, I will still be there for you. This will now, if anything, only allow me to focus more on not only my family but you he's referring to us you know my family reading this without the stress of the industry we can communicate more interact more and i'm so excited for that i love you and thank you so so much for being here with me all these years now let's all kick back love life and enjoy each day having fun 
no pressure. Rat Pack for infinity, and always, peace, love, and positivity. Obediently yours, Bobby. And yeah, he said it himself, this is a very bittersweet time for all of us Logic fans. I for one have been waiting a long time for Bobby to say anything about a new project that he's been working on, or basically just anything else too, because I really haven't heard anything from him for like a whole year, basically ever since Codem was released, which did not have the best reviews either. So it was speculation that Bobby did go ghost on Instagram and any of the social media just because of how people were taking the album, they weren't really liking it that much, and that's a pretty solid theory too because he constantly preaches about how social media is a bad thing and being in the public eye as he is it might not be the best thing for him to constantly be on it and also his kid that's probably a pretty important part too <laughs> And as happy as I am that No Pressure is being released, I can't say that my heart isn't a little bit heavy hearing the news that he's going to be retiring. Because on the artist side, I'm really going to be missing new music from him, but knowing him as well as I do, as much as I've followed him, I'm really happy that he's going to be entering this new chapter of his life. So it's it's bittersweet just in the announcement alone. He gave us a whole decade of new music after he signed with Def Jam, and it's that music that I constantly go back to even to this day. When I'm chilling out, editing videos, making thumbnails, I'm listening to Under Pressure. When I'm working out, I'm listening to Bobby Tarantino one and two. If I'm feeling really inspired, I'll go and listen to everybody. Music to just me personally that I feel like is timeless and I'll constantly be going back to those albums. But here's the thing, I don't, I, maybe it's just because I don't want it to be over, but I have this theory. Logic is just one of those artists that has a great work ethic and he's actually said that he's working five albums ahead of everything. So his retirement might not necessarily mean that he's done releasing new music. It might, again, I don't know this for sure, I'm just speculating here, but if he does already have all those songs already recorded, who's to say that he won't put out some more in the future? So I'm just hoping he that he does do something like that and this is not the last that we're gonna be seeing of Bobby. All right, I think that that's pretty much all that I had to say about uh, a little bit of a rant today, just a little bit more things that I'm hopeful for and I'm really glad that Hobson's back doing music again and feeling back to his normal self and happy that no pressure has been announced but it's a little bit bittersweet with him retiring. I just want to talk about that a little bit, so. There it is. So down below, go ahead and comment what do you guys think about everything we talked about here today. All right guys, thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Probably wait for this uh, plane to go over. Dude, how long is this plane gonna be out here? This beetle. You stay over there. But now to present day, Hopson actually released a video on his YouTube channel called. Oh, what? Fucking, what is the, what is the video called? <laughs> the dog wants to come inside. Outside. I'm outside, not inside. Sorry for the shirt, by the way. I uh, am currently trying to finish this workout. I'm actually done. Uh, I just need to get everything inside. See, I need to get the, the bench inside, the dumbbells, the, the barbell inside too, and the mirrors. I like having the mirrors out here. It just helps me, you know, be full of myself. So with everything going on in his life, he said that he went through a few years of quite bad depression. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> also, I just got this new ND filter, so hopefully I can make it a little bit more neutral and not blow all the colors out. He's the reason why I started making beats on Fruit Loops. Wow. Oh man, we might redo that one. I include this part even a little bit inside of the video. It's gonna be at the end. So um, thanks for sticking around this far and I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Why I started making beats on Fruit Loops. Damn it, why am I saying Fruit Loops?